welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, and Jesse, thank you so much for stopping by today. Guys, today's video is what's for dinner. Let's get to cooking. All right, guys, tonight we are having meatloaf. Guys, look how delicious that looks. I've made a video of me making my meatloaf before. The only difference that I did is I put gluten-free breadcrumbs in it. And then these are the Idahoan baby red mashed potatoes. And then this is the Southern style cream corn. I had uh, showed you guys that in my grocery haul that I posted um, last week. So if you wanna see that, go watch it. I'll put a little link up here for you guys as well as down in the description box. This is dinner tonight, guys. Guys, so it's super late. It's like seven, almost eight o'clock. Is it eight o'clock? As you can tell, we're old people. It's yeah. super late. It's, it's super late, late. it's eight o'clock. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Uh, I'm eating dinner really late and I made this gluten-free Palmero's pizza. It had, it was like a veggie pizza and then I added pepperoni to it. Guys, this is so good. I'm so impressed. I told Jeffrey, even Jeffrey's like, wow, that's super good. I am shocked, amazed, new favorite. Gonna be eating this quite often because it's fantastic. Yum. This is dinner tonight, guys. Right, guys. Tonight we're making lasagna. So I'm gonna show you some of the filling stuff. So you're gonna need a whole container of the Frigo whole milk ricotta cheese. This is the 32 ounce. We're gonna go ahead and drop this guy in here. Take some pepper. Some salt. Just put a pinch of that in there. Some minced garlic. Probably about a tablespoon of that. We're gonna put some dry basil in there. Probably do about a tablespoon of that. Put about a tablespoon of parsley flakes. And then I have some of this shredded Asiago and Parmesan cheese from Crystal Farms. Put some of that in there. And then we're gonna mix it all together. ricotta cheese. I know a lot of people are that way. Do what you like, you know, whatever you need. Switch it to make it work for you, you know. I always say that. It's so true though. I feel like a lot of people won't cook certain recipes because they're like, oh, well, I don't like that. Well, what can you switch that out for? That's what I always ask myself. We got all that cheesy goodness mixed together. Right here, I have a greased nine by 13 pan. And then in here, I have one pound of Jimmy Dean ground sausage browned up. And then I added in like a bag of spinach, like raw uncooked spinach. And then um, two jars of the Francisco Rinaldi sweet and uh, tasty tomato sauce. So that's what's in this guy. Then I have my brown rice noodles that I cooked up on the stove. This is the brand. Uh, you could use regular lasagna noodles. Um, I'm gluten free though, so that's why I use these. So you're gonna take your noodles, and you're gonna spread them on the bottom of your pan. Ooh. We're gonna take sauce and put that down first. It's been a while since I've made lasagna, guys. A bunch of you are probably cringing. You need to put sauce down. <laughs> It's been a while. It's gonna be so good though. You get a little bit of iron from the sausage and the spinach. Perfect for me, we're iron deficient. So you take our noodles here. Bottom. Oh, that goes. 
sticking. There we go. Oop, tore a little bit. That's okay. Now I have one layer of that. I'm gonna take my cheese mixture. I'm gonna spread that over top of my noodles here. Said it should be easy to forgive. We all make mistakes, and no one lives without sin. But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet. And now you're standing at my door, thinking that I'm gonna let you in. But if you wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Alright guys, and this will probably be the last layer I do for probably 30 to 40 minutes and I will show you guys when it's out. Alright guys, here it is out of the oven. I'm gonna scoop it up, serve it up, and I will show you it all plated. Real talk, uh, I'm impatient and cut into it while it's extremely hot yet and it did this. <laughs> Still gonna be delicious though. This is dinner tonight guys. Lasagna, yum. Hey guys, tonight is Valentine's Day. We are having steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and an egg sunny side up. Guys, I'm so excited for this. Uh, I'm not sure if we're doing dessert or what we're doing yet. If we have something, I will show you. Otherwise, guys, this is Valentine's dinner. Hope you guys all had a good Valentine's. 
Guys, for dessert, I'm having two little teeny tiny cat's blueberry pies and some vanilla ice cream. The little pies are warmed up. This is Valentine's Day dessert, guys. All right, guys, tonight we are doing pulled pork sandwiches, barbecue pulled pork sandwiches with coleslaw. It's gonna be so delicious. I have this uh, picnic roast from Walmart that we're gonna use for the pork. And we're gonna do it in the crock pot, so that's an easy meal. All right, guys, now that we have the roast in the crock pot, we're gonna season it. I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. I'm gonna season all sides of this, well, both sides. Don't worry about the side sides. <laughs> We're gonna use some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Hungarian paprika. You could use regular paprika if you got it. Onion powder. Garlic powder. <clears throat> and Hungarian paprika. Some of you may be asking, Jesse, where is your wedding ring? Well, so my wedding ring has not been able to fit since I've had run-in. So I had bought and, and like worn like a, like just a cheap one that I got and for like, I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. And I've been wearing that one. Well, one of the stones fell out of it. So I don't have a ring to wear right now. We're talking about getting me like, just like a silicone type one. So anyways, that's why I don't have a ring on. Still married. <laughs> okay, and the crock pot is on low. We're gonna take brown sugar. I'm gonna put some on it. Pat it on. Some people might think that's too much brown sugar. I think it's perfect. Do what you like. If you don't like too much brown sugar, don't do it. I think it makes it taste delicious. Anyways, though, you're gonna push that into the meat. We're gonna pop the lid on. It's gonna go on low for six to eight hours. And then we'll, towards the end, probably the last hour, I'll shred it up, put the barbecue sauce on. All right, guys, it is currently o'clock and this has been in here for a while so I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and shred it. Oh yeah it's falling apart beautifully. Guys by the way you're gonna see this in my haul. But I got some silicone rings, so now I look married again. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to warm, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my barbecue sauce in, and then I'll be perfect and ready to eat when we're ready for dinner. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that juice in there too, because I'm sure it'll absorb some, the meat will absorb it while it's sitting in here. I'm gonna take this KC Masterpiece, the sweet honey and molasses barbecue sauce. This is gluten free, but I actually I liked it even before and it was gluten free. Uh, we've been buying this for a long time now. It's one of my favorites. I actually like it more than Sweet Baby Ray's. I know some people aren't gonna like me saying that, but this reminds me of my childhood because my parents used to use Masterpiece a lot before Sweet Baby Ray's was even a thing. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably put the rest of the bottle in here. 
Alright, so now that I have all that in there, I'm going to take my forks. I probably only need one. I'm going to kind of stir that around. And it'll still be on warm, so that'll heat through the barbecue sauce well. And like I said, I'm probably going to eat dinner around probably 5 o'clock, maybe 4.30. We'll see. Guys, I'm gonna make some coleslaw to go with our barbecue pulled pork. I have the market side trio colored coleslaw, and we are going to use the craft coleslaw dressing. This is my first time buying like stuff to make coleslaw myself. I usually already buy the pre-made stuff. Uh, it's a really tangy. I probably next time I'll make it homemade. I don't know if I'd suggest that, but we'll eat it. Not a big deal. Jeffrey is going to be using the Lewis Hawaiian buns, and I'm going to be using the Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free burger buns. You guys might want to see the pulled pork, guys. It like absorbed a lot of that moisture. So delicious, gonna make a great sandwich. Guys, this is the first time having, I love their bread, but the bun, I don't know, guys. The other part, I like heated them up and like smushed that down where, cause it was like really high up. I don't know if it was the way they cut it, I don't know. But we're still gonna eat it, it's gonna be delicious, guys. Here is Jeffrey's all finished. He wanted his coleslaw on his, so that's what his looks like. So good, guys. And then I put mine on the side, and then that's what mine looks like. Oh yeah, guys. And then the baked beans. This is dinner tonight. All right, guys, tonight Jeffrey and I are doing date night. We got Red Robins. I got the bonsai burger without the teriyaki sauce, and, and then I just put my own barbecue sauce on it because their teriyaki sauce has gluten, gluten-free bun. They're um, Yukon, are they called Yukon chips? Yep, Yukon, Yukon chips. And then I got some salsa ranch, and we are watching Mulan. Got a kitty on me. Kid yelling for daddy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna enjoy our date night. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration of some meals you guys might wanna try this week. Leave down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys had for dinner last week. I love hearing what you guys had and getting ideas from you guys as well. Um, I also want to apologize in my uh, grocery haul. I mentioned I was going to make Swiss chicken casserole. We didn't get that made this week, but that's okay. We're going to throw it into next week's meal plan. So if you, uh, you know, subscribe, you'll get to see that next week. All right, guys, please give this video a big thumbs up. Press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>